Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you one extra example on how we uh, calculate each year's uh, discount rate using this holy model. Okay, now I'm going to share my screen. So this is the basic setting for holy model. And our parameter is that current short rate is 5%. The annual volatility is 1%. So in this case, we know that the monthly volatility will be the annual volatility divided by square root of 12. And then DT, which is each month equals to how many years? And it's equals to one divided by 12. And of course, DZ, we have two um, possibility. Y is positive one means that the uh, rate is gonna increase, has a 50% uh, chance that the rate is gonna increase and uh, has a 50% of chance that the short rate is gonna decrease. So at t equal to zero, uh, short rate equals to 5%. That is current short rate. And the holy model looks like this. DR, this is the change of rate. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in. So DR is the change of short rate. So each new time, like t equal to zero, um, the, the short rate are gonna equals to last period short rate, which is 5% plus dr. So basically rt plus one equals to rt plus dr. So let me just make this clear. This is t plus one and equals to RT plus DR. So as we all know, R when T equal to zero, RT equals to 5%. Then we found out DR, DR equals to theta T times DT, DT equals to one divided by 12 plus the sigma, which is monthly volatility over here times DZ here. So first the DZ is one. So it's equals to, let's just the first calculate DR. Um, DR is theta T, theta T is 2% times DT plus sigma, which is monthly volatility times DZ. And then this is DR and we need a plus the last period short rate. So this is the um, one possible 50% chance that at t equal to amongst t equal to one, the short rate is 5.455. And uh, the another 50% chance is gonna be, let's calculate it dr again, it's equals to theta t, which is 2% times dt plus dr uh, plus sigma, which is monthly volatility times dz. dz, another chance is that the short rate is gonna decrease. And finally, we add last period short rate. So, at t equal to one, there's two possible short rate. The first one is 5.455. The second one is 4.878%. And at t equal to two, again, let's calculate uh, dr first. So it's theta t, which is 1% times um, dt plus sigma times dz here. And we plus the last period 
shorter it. This is one possibility that this uh, 5.455 at t equal to one increase to 5.827% at t equal to two. And there's another chance that it's gonna decrease. It's gonna decrease so the DZ is negative one. So again, we calculate the DR first. So it's C at T times DT plus volatility times DZ here. And then plus last period rate. So this 5.45 5 can either increase to 5.8 or decrease decrease to 5.25. And the second, uh, the second shorter rate is 4.878. It can increase to 5.25. We can, we can double check it here. So it's theta times dt plus sigma times dz which is increased, right? And the plus is 4.878. You can see they look exactly the same. So that's why we just delete this. So we know that 4.878 at year two or month two, it can increase to 5.25 or it can decrease to the theta t times dt plus sigma times dz, which is a uh, decrease, right? So, and then we pass the short rate. So this is for t equal to two. Otherwise, if, if those two numbers, so if 5.455 decrease to 5.25, but 4.878 increase to a different number, um, the tree can be very large. This way, we try to reduce the tree size, the binomial tree size. So t equal to three, again, theta t times dt plus sigma times <coughs> dz, and then add back the last period of short rate. It's either increase or decrease. So it's sigma times dt plus sigma um, theta t times dt plus sigma times dz. And this is this one plus. And then the middle one, it's gonna either increase to 5.6 or it either can decrease to theta t times dt plus sigma times dz because it's decrease. And add the last period of short rate. And this 4.673 either increase to 5.028 or it can decrease the same procedure. So that's for a t equal to three. T equal to four, we just do the same. So theta t times dt plus sigma times dz and the last period short rate. And so this is 6.18 can either increase to 6.48 or it can decrease to theta t times dt plus sigma times dz. And for this 5.605, it can either increase to 5.9 or it can decrease. T 
to 5.325. 5.028 can either increase to 5.325 or it can decrease. to 4.748. And finally, this 4.451 can either increase to 4.748 or it can decrease. To 4.17%. Okay, so that's basically our um, video. It's very short and they just help you have a better understanding of this holy model. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to use a comment uh, or you can, uh, you know, show your opinions or if you have further thoughts, feel free to share your thoughts. Thank you very much and have a great day.